Here's how to forward Gmail emails to another Gmail in Gmail. So if you have a couple different Gmails, and actually this works for other email addresses as well, but basically you wanna forward from one to another. So I have this one here, which has this little fish icon. Uh, it's called flippyfinapp at gmail.com. And then I have my contact at pixelandbracket.com email. So let's say I want to forward from our fish friend here to this contact email. So anything that comes into this one, I'm gonna to forward to the other one. The first thing we need to do is look at our settings. So in the upper right, we'll see the gear icon. It'll open up quick settings, but we need to see all the settings for forwarding. Once we click on that, we'll see a little section here that says forwarding and pop. And so we're gonna click on that and then in this first forwarding area, we're gonna add a forwarding address. So we click on that button and we can enter in the email address. So I wanna enter in contact at pixelandbracket.com. So once we have that entered, we can click okay. And basically what it's gonna do is say, hey, this is going to forward mail to that email address. And so you can say, okay, proceed. Now a confirmation link will be sent to the other email address to verify permission. So we hit OK. So before anything can be forwarded, we have to go to the other email address that will be receiving the emails. From here, we'll see this uh, Gmail forwarding confirmation. And it says basically, this address has requested to forward email. To allow it to forward email, please click this link. And so we can click on that link and confirm that we're gonna forward email from the fish address to our contact address. And hit confirm. Now we have to go back to our flippy fin fish here, and we're going to refresh the forwarding settings page. So we're gonna click this refresh button. Basically we've set up that we allow the forwarding, but we haven't set up forwarding. And so what we're gonna do here is look back at the forwarding. And now that we have the address added in and we've refreshed the page, we can see we have some more options. So disable forwarding is currently set up so it won't forward right away. But if we click on forward a copy of incoming mail, then we can add the email address that we just confirmed with the other email. And then we can keep the Gmails in our inbox on this email uh, also, so it's kind of like a copy of it, right? Um, we can also mark it as read immediately on this email, so it doesn't look like there's a bunch of new email. We can archive any emails, as well as, of course, sending the copy to the new address, or we can delete them from here. So depending on your preference of what you want the emails uh, or what you want to happen to the emails on this email address, you can do any of these. A copy will still be sent to this email address here. So from there, we scroll to the bottom and we wanna save changes. Now you see the red at the top, it says you're forwarding your email to contact at pixelandbracket.com. This notice will end in seven days. Now the emails can or could maybe start forwarding immediately but sometimes, you know, my experience with these kind of settings, sometimes they take a day or two to actually start to work. So hopefully it works right away for you, but it might take a day or two to forward your email from one Gmail to another Gmail here in Gmail.